Hi, this is Kerry Christian at CE Week New York, and we just had a really interesting session on the new reality of data sharing and some new information about how companies are cooperating to uh, increase sales and uh, increase all sorts of goodness in retail and online channels. I'm here with uh, Bob Scaglioni. He's with a company called Owner IQ, and that's a programmatic media buyer. The heart of what Bob was talking about today has to do with uh, second party data. It's not first, it's not third, it's second party data. Could you just give us a, a quick rundown on second party data? Sure, probably the best way to explain what second party data is is to explain what it's not, which you just mentioned. So um, people are usually familiar with first party data, which is a product brand or a retailer advertising that people who have previously been on their site um, then there's third party data where you, you work with another agency to identify groups of people like television and tenders. Um, that's issues with both of those. So first party data, um, yeah, you know you're talking to people who are interested in your product because you've been to your site, but eventually you run out of scale. You can only talk to your own customers for so long and if you're looking for new customers, um, you're going to have to do something else. And then on the third party data also, plenty of scale, there's like the whole internet out there of people um, but it lacks like transparency and relevancy sometimes. How do you know that this organization identified that a consumer is a, a TV and tender? And how long ago did they actually look at um, a, let's say, television site to do research? So second party data is, is quite simply one brand using another brand's first party data. Right, so uh, the best example of that is a retailer who's interested in selling, let's say, an OLED television from LG. Um, and then they let, uh, they go, they uh, work through Owner IQ, and we give them the ability to target consumers who have been on LG's site researching um, OLED televisions. So in that regard, uh, you're getting a lot of scale. There's a lot of consumers who go to LG's site. You're getting plenty of relevancy because you know that consumers are interested in buying the product because they were on the site. Um, and you know it's, it was recent within the last 30 days. So if I'm a, a retailer, for example, and I have this uh, nice LED uh, TV for sale, uh, how, would, how would I work with you and LG? What would be the benefit to me as a retailer? Sure, so um, LG has our pixel on their site, so um, we have this great platform that allows a retailer to go on and, and request access to a uh, manufacturer's site, and then they run a campaign through us. So we, they, we buy advertising on their behalf, finding people who have been on the LG site. The benefit is you're finding uh, consumers who've already identified they're interested in a specific product. Um, so you're not doing the shotgun approach, you're looking for consumers, you're finding people who have already put their hand up and said, I'm interested in this product. Um, it's also a great way for you to utilize the co-op dollars that manufacturers give you. And instead of putting it in a newspaper ad where maybe you're not going to be speaking to the right consumer all the time, you're able to find consumers who are, are extremely relevant and interested in making a purchase. So this is very targeted. I, as a retailer, am reaching out to a consumer, and this is the right consumer for me. Right. That's correct. I mean, I used the story about, you know, with, with um, newspaper advertising, you can't find consumers who are looking for a very specific product, but, um, you know, what if you were doing a newspaper ad and you only got charged for the people who looked at that ad who had said, I'm interested in buying an LG OLED television, it's impossible, right? But you can do that with digital, and it's, it's, a, it's a great way of finding the right consumer at the right time to make a purchase. So let me instead put on my uh, manufacturer hat, and if I'm a manufacturer like LG, why do I want to go with a program like this? Yeah, great question. So I used to work for Sharp, and, and um, I remember the pain of providing co-op funds to retailers, but not really knowing uh, how those funds were being spent. Um, you know, a lot of times they were spent on campaigns that really didn't drive any sell-through. And you know, manufacturers spend a lot of money making sure their websites are up to up to speed and they're providing good information. But but how do you put a value around that? You know, should I should I uh, spend time making the the site as perfect as possible? How can I put a you know a real um, you know benefit to that? And so this allows them to do that. You know, by by having um, retailers target consumers who've been on your site, uh, you're you're adding a great uh, value to the asset that you're working on and you can see exactly where your co-op dollars are being spent. You know they're being done efficiently and effectively. So let me put on my uh, correct hat, and that's as a consumer. Yeah. Uh, as a consumer, I guess the benefit to me is that uh, I'm, I'm seeing the ads that really matter. 
True, you know, and it's it's kind of a learning process for a lot of consumers. I, I probably in the first time that you saw some products pop up that you researched the day before, it felt a little strange. You know, some people even say a little creepy. But you know what? In the last few years, I've heard more and more people say, you know, I'd rather see ads that are relevant to me, to me than those that are not. Now. It's their choice whether they want to take an action on that. It's not really going to bother them one way or another, but at least they're seeing ads that are for products that um, they somewhere had made an uh, interest in by looking at our website. Okay, great. Big data as applied to uh, consumers, retail, all sorts of uh, interesting relationships. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir.